Yo, what's up everybody? Jumping Hat, and I am back with my noob's guide for Elden Ring. Oh boy, does it feel nice to be back. I got my brand new PlayStation 5. My other one was pretty much screwed, dead. It was terrible. It was dying on me. And, oh my god, it was so frustrating. So, brand new PlayStation 5. I shouldn't have any more issues. Thank god. Now... When it comes to me getting this thing, I guess I got lucky. I still hear people say all the time that they're very hard to get. And I was talking about this in my video where I explained what was going on. That I was worried if I wanted to buy a new one, it could take me a long time to get a new one because they're hard to get. Well, I went ahead and did the same thing I did last time. I set up a ton of notifications with apps and stuff like that. And it went ahead and notified me. The first time it ever notified me too, by the way, that Sony Direct was going to have some. I went on the website, I sat in line for like two hours, and I got one. So, that's great, you know, hey, I guess I got lucky, I don't know. Now that all that is said, I just wanted to kind of go over it, explain what was going on. Let's get started. We are going to do the entire capital today. We're going to start here at this balcony, and then we're going to beat this whole area, fight the boss, really the boss is, and then we are going to go to the underground and do all the underground as well because once we have beaten the capital and we beat the underground there's a little doorway that will open up if you haven't beaten the capital yet you can't get the doorway to open up and then there's a shield that we can get down there that is the goal you want to go and get that shield and then we will actually probably end up changing the build around a little bit regardless the shield is like so good it still is very very good much better than the shield i'm using and pretty much we were starting at the balcony and what you're looking for let's just go ahead and go through this little doorway here and then we're going to kind of make our way back to the beginning because at the beginning there's a lot of stuff that i kind of skipped there's a dog behind me as well take him out and let's pick this up it is an old fang yay really needed that but let's go ahead and keep going over here and if we make a right there's going to be one of these knights now these knights, the bigger ones, they're all going to have like these lightning attacks and stuff. You do have to watch out for that just because the lightning can hurt a little bit. And over here in this corner, there is a guy chilling. Now one thing I want to say right away is that I did do some of my practice runs for the capital. And unfortunately, I got so frustrated from my PlayStation cutting off that I didn't do the entire practice run. And at this point, I don't even want to be bothered with it just because I got this PlayStation now and I'm like, all right, let me go ahead and do this. Like, I'm not going to like sit here and waste time. I'm just going to get right to it. So that's what I did. So there are going to be things here where, you know, who knows? I might get a little lost or something. I'm warning you now, but I just want to hurry up and actually do this episode because it's really, really long overdue. Now, there is a guy sitting in the corner right here. Take him out first. And if you want to skip this, to be honest, if you don't want to come over to this corner, the only thing that's really over here is a bunch of crafting stuff. Now, one thing you can always do with this shield, of course, is just do your little circle. I mean, he's not going to break my guard at all. And if you circle him long enough, eventually you will get his back. And if you get his back like this, just go for that easy backstab. Do your little backstab fishing. He gets up, and I finish him off with my weapon art. Let's pick up all this. So here are the crafting materials. A bunch of flowers. They're purple, so I always deem that important. And we are going to make our way over to this one little room. Now, this room coming up over here is super dangerous. You need to be careful about it and be smart. Because if you're not, you can die. Trust me, I have died several times here. And I've seen friends die here. And I've seen people who I invaded die here because I have invaded here a lot. I do love the capital. If you are going to do PvP and invade people, this is a fun place to do it. But people run in here and they get wrecked. So you want to take out these pyromancers with the dust first. Just because if you don't, they can really, really destroy you. So if you take out one and just run out here and chill for a second, you should have them come out to you. And that's kind of what I'm going for here. Blocking him, he will bounce off. Let's do our weapon art. Take him out. Watch out for the pyro. 
that fire will just do some crazy, crazy damage to you. So you gotta watch out. And now we can go ahead and pick up the items. Now let me go ahead and double check something, and that is I'm gonna go up top. I'm pretty sure I have cleared the up top. Let me just look down here real quick. Make sure I did this too. No, there's an item over here. Let's go get that. Guy's playing the flute. Well, he's getting a backstab for that. Should be paying more attention. Pick that up. Now, here's a little thing. I just want to show this, I guess, because I've used this a million times. This is the skip, dude. Basically, if you just jump like right up here, well, I normally do it like this. Jump up that way and then just try and jump over here. Jump up on this thing. You can just jump right up so you don't have to go all the way around. Now, you can also jump from the roofs, and that's what I did when I first came here. I just went from the rooftops. But if you don't do it that way, you can skip the other way. Let me come up here. I'm pretty sure I got everything that was up here. It was just everything at the bottom that I kind of skipped. Yeah, okay, we're good. So now I'm going to go ahead and just go back to the roofs. I guess technically this is the other skip because you can do the same thing. Oh, well, I guess I can't because I suck. There we go. Jump up. And of course, I suck. Oh my god. So this is a problem when you haven't played for like a week or two weeks or whatever it's been. It's been a minute. I can't do it. The simple things. There we go. We're up top now. And I'm just going to make this jump over here. And really the goal is to kind of come down this way, which is literally where I just was. Okay. I already grabbed the stuff over here. And we're just going to make our way up top take out all these guys knight over here behind him give him that juicy backstab there we go and we can also make our way to a lot of different sections of this place i mean th this place is massive so it's going to be a minute of exploring there's no doubt let's see what these messages say well there's an item over here pick that up i mean look how many messages there are People really, really want that golden rune, I guess. Let me come over this way and check this out. I'm just kind of looking everywhere. And watch out for the knight. He's the only dangerous one. I guess not really, because they're pretty weak. Okay, yeah, so there's an item over here, but there's one of these. I forgot what these are. Gargoyles? Like, I guess they are gargoyles. So just kind of run to the left. And this is easy. Okay, I guess he can actually hit you, maybe. Smack him, do massive damage, take him out, and let's grab the items. Give me that, and let's go ahead and pick this up. I wonder if that's a troll over there. I kind of want to see, just because. And by the way, falling this, I would imagine, to be honest, that this could be kind of difficult. Because it's very easy to make a wrong turn. Like, if you're following my guide, right, and you're trying to follow what I'm doing, the place I'm going, I could imagine that somebody could make the wrong turn at one point, and then you're in a whole other massive area. So, that's the only downside of this. Like, I could imagine this could be tough actually following. But we're just going to head over this way on the top. There's about to be a bunch of guys over here, and this is a spot that you can easily die if you're not super careful. But back here, let's take out this guy first. And we're trying to not aggro the guys if possible. Now there's going to be a couple of them at the front door here. And okay. Well, I didn't expect them to do that. Oh my god. Luckily, I did take out two there. And the other guy's doing the lightning strike. Let's get away from the bow guy. Try to lure this guy over. And he should bounce off. Let's do that. Do a follow up to him. Follow up on that. There we go. Oh my god, that was sexy. I actually got both of them with that. Then I got an arrow to the face, though. And, of course, with the arrow guy, as long as we block, we should be okay. I'm just going to rush him. He's going to try to shoot. I'm going to backstab. He's going to get up. And you know what I'm going to do. The amazing, amazing weapon art. I'll tell you one thing. It's going to be rough to not use this weapon. I think that if I'm going to go for, like, a full newbie build of a shield... I should probably use a spear. Now, by the way, the thrusting weapons or thrusting swords are also very good. So maybe I do that. I don't know yet. I'm thinking about it. But 
I love this weapon so much. I mean, if you've been using this a lot, you know you love this weapon too. It's just so good. It's got everything going for it. It's got bleed. It's got an amazing weapon art. I mean, it's great. But with a thrusting weapon like a spear or a thrusting sword, you're able to block and poke at the same time. And that block poke is freaking crazy. It just is. Now I'm going to come over here real quick because I'm pretty sure this is a dead end. But there is going to be a giant lion enemy over here. So just rush him if you can and get a free hit off. But this is important. I should have pointed that out. Take out that guy as quick as you can. Because if you don't, it's annoying. Ow. Let me back up and try to heal. My FP is getting a little bit low. Okay. Come on. See, this is the reason, by the way, it's a good idea, generally speaking, to actually have the 4 FP potions. I kind of like to do 4 FP potions and 10, ooh, give me all that, 10 healing potions. That way you can maintain it better that way, especially for a kind of a longer area. Also, co-op. I mean, co-op is huge. Like, if you're going to play co-op, then yeah. Now, don't worry about that. I'm pretty sure you can get that item later on. Let's see what these messages say, but I'm sure they're full of crap. I don't believe you can get that. Pretty much later, we will come back to this area. And when we do, we can get that item over there. So for now, we're not going to worry about it. Just because I don't think there's really any way you can get it. But there is an item on this roof over here, so we need to make this jump, and we can get on the roof. So let's do that. Just run and jump. And there's also enemies down here, so watch out. And I'm trying to be a smart guy here and see if I can actually do a running jump and a heavy. And of course I miss. Well, you know what, though? We a ninja, and we backstab the guy, so there you go. Do my follow-up and another follow-up. Of course, I don't really want to rest at the grace to get my FP and everything back, but I think I'm going to have to. That's just the reality. As long as I don't go back to an area where I've already cleared it and I have to clear it a second time, I should be good. Now, one thing, and I guess I should just do it now. Screw it. Let's go. But there is like this whole, this isn't the underground, but this is kind of an underground. And yeah, it's pretty massive it's all over the place and we will clear it but let's come down this way and check this out i need to see this area to know okay we can kick this ladder down nice pretty sure there's a grace over here yes there is okay so there's a grace over here there's also a pretty big enemy so be ready for him this guy can wreck you that attack right there is insane now obviously i wrecked him first but that attack i mean if you're blocking that that can break your guard so you definitely need to try to move around him because out of all of the enemies in the game he's like one of the only ones that can really mess up a great shield pick that up that is the fat man's armor and it is a very good armor because it gives you a lot of poise any armor that gives you a ton of poise is always really good and let me go ahead and look around here real quick and this is going to take us actually to this sewer like area let me actually come over here first just to double check this little spot. Okay, I don't think there's anything over here. So let's go ahead and make our way to that bottom area. There's also a golden seed that we can get here in the capital. And down here, by the way, there's a lot of hands. So be ready for the hands because they are something else. Okay, so if we come this way, this is going to take us to where the golden seed is. It's going to be mini boss. And I don't know why I didn't guard counter him there, but whatever. I'm trying to not use my FP up because I just think that's smart. I probably should have rested the grace. That would have been a good idea too because I don't think we're going to run past any enemies that we've already killed, but whatever. Let's come out this way. And right over here, this is where you're going to find the giant enemy, the mini boss. There are some enemies as well in this area. They're kind of hiding in the bushes and stuff. Now, at this point, you know the drill with these guys. If you stay really close to them for the most part, you should be able to be all right. And also at half health, he's going to do an explosion attack, so be ready for that. And watch out. I don't know why I did that. I need to chug. 
Watch out. There's the explosion already. Ow! I wasn't expecting him to do the explosion that quick. And did I get grabbed? No, I did not. Good. Okay, that's the grab, though. Uh-oh. I'm tapping my L1, R1 to try to not take as much damage. And we are over-leveled for this area, by the way. Like, even though this is the capital and this is the highest level area, I guess maybe the... I don't know, to be honest. The Volcanic Manor castle might be harder than this. I'm not exactly sure. But one thing about that castle is that we don't want to complete it. Like, we can do it technically, but you don't want to kill the boss. Oh, watch out, explosion again. But you don't want to kill the boss at the Volcanic Manor because then you kind of fail a lot of the side quests doing that. If you want to complete all the side quests there, you need to first beat the capital. Watch out, that's the grab. When you see that, you gotta dodge. When he, like, leaps like that. You gotta dodge. You can't block that. But, there we go. We got the golden seed. And now, I believe that might be... I might be tripping here. Let's take a look. Okay, I am tripping. Never mind. We didn't really need that. That's just an extra golden seed. I forgot, actually, that we have maxed out the potions and we have 14 total. So, we're gonna get a lot of golden seeds still. But they are useless. They're not gonna do anything for us at all so let me make sure i actually have gotten everything no i did not so luckily i can go ahead and pick that up also i did just remember there is a talisman that i missed in that rotten lake i was actually going to start this episode and go and grab that but i forgot oops i was excited to get this started let me read this what does this say uh yeah i guess it could be used for range battle but i don't see the point Okay, I guess there's nothing up here. This definitely looks like a spot they would put something, but I guess it's not. And now, let's kind of come over this way. I kind of feel like it would be a good idea to rest out of grace somewhere. Back here, I believe. Where are we exactly? Okay, I know where we're at. Here's what I'm going to do. And this is what I actually recommend. If you're following exactly what I'm doing, we are making our way. I'm actually going to chug this. Just for backup. And we're going to come in here. Watch out. There's going to be a lot of guys throwing bombs at us. So, yeah. We need to watch out for that. Take that guy out. Oh, no. Nope. Leave me alone for a second. Chill. There we go. There's the bombs. Oh, my God. There's so many of them. Take those guys out. Roll. And do my little attack. Rush him. Take him out. And let's get the item. And there's also a chest in here. But this is a shortcut. So, we can actually get back to the grace. And that's the main thing I need right now. I need that grace. Super bad. But at the same time, I do want to open up the shortcut. Also, we can clear this area. Because there's a lot. There's actually quite a bit of stuff down here. And we can go down to the sewer area as well to clear all of that where the hands are. So open up this door and we are back at the balcony. So that is good. Just kind of looking around for a second. Also, I need to make this daytime, but I am going to go ahead and go get that talisman real quick. I guess I should level up. Let's do that. At this point, i kind of been putting points in endurance. I mean, I should just put some points in strength too. Strength does increase the damage, and I am super tripping because I have not leveled up my decks all the way. Let me pop one of these, and that's not enough. Ah, oh, crap. Let me pop those. And we'll pop one more. I think we need about 100,000 at this point. Oh my god, I might not have enough. Pop one of the boss souls, but... Nah, I don't really want to do that. Yeah, we're not going to have enough. Well, that sucks. I just noticed that I haven't actually got my decks up to 60 yet. Which is something I want to do. Okay, but we're going to go back to the Rotten Lake real quick just because I want to go get that talisman. And it's just, it's a talisman, so I think it's important. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this ahead. I'm going to see you guys in a moment. Alrighty, let's go and get this thing real quick. Because I don't remember if I pointed this guy out or not. But I remember I seen this guy and thought, it's kind of random for that guy to be all the way out there. Like, what is that? And the thing is, is that when you're in this poison lake, I mean, you should know if you've done it, 
you want to get the hell out of this poison lake as quick as possible. You don't want to stay in here too much. So it's easy to miss stuff like this. But this random guy just chilling here. If you kill him, pick up the item, you get a talisman. So now let me chug before I die. And let's quickly get out of here. Go back to the capital. Woo! Now we can pretty much continue and go back the way we came and check out old stuff. Still nighttime, unfortunately. Let me go ahead and fix that now. Pass the time. Let's make it morning. And we should be good. We got some light now. And we don't have to be in the dark. So, back down the steps. And those enemies are going to be back, but... I think I'm going to try to run out of the room. Let's see if I can actually do that. This guy's going to chase us, so I'm going to take him out real quick. And hopefully the rest of them will not chase. I'm going to say no. Okay. Well, there's a lot of zombie dudes over here. Let's take them out and come on over this way. More zombie dudes over here. Take them out as well. I should have actually adjusted my potions just so I could have the four FP potions. I think that's a good idea. Of course, these guys can grab you. You don't want that. That's very annoying when they do that. Pick up this item. There is a zombie dude chilling here, though. And let's take out the rest of them. Hello. Another one that just got up. There's also some skeletons in this area. Let me just kind of check over this way. Is there anything? I know what this is. This is an elevator taking us down here. Later on, when we come across this elevator, we don't need to worry about it. But I do want to check these rooftops out. Just to see. Anything up here? What's this message? Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I'm good. Oh, there is an item up here. Alright, let's go get that. And... What is this? Oh, it was the black bow. Okay. I kind of forgot about that. Let's come on up and watch out. We got two skeletons and a zombie dude. Of course, with the skeleton, make sure you take them out once they're down. Take this one out. Now I'm going to quickly pick up the item. So far, we've gotten several of the stone keys. Kind of cool. Pick that up. Somebody just hopped down. It was a trap. Take him out. And you know how I like to roll. I'm trying to kill pretty much every enemy. Just because this is a walkthrough, I'm not just going to say, okay, let's just run through the area and grab all the items and get the hell out of here. So I want to kill everything at least once. That way we have kind of done a full clear. Now, though, I do want to go down there. So I'm just going to hop down. Why not? And let's grab this item all the way over here. And let's head down this path. Now, like I said before... There's going to be some hands down here, and some rats, of course. Take out the one rat, and take out that one. Let's pick up the item, and keep going. So this is where we were before, if you remember that. And here comes the hand. Take him out, and let's push forward. And we got the right path and the left path. I'm pretty sure we want to go left. I believe left is a dead end. Watch out for the rats. Take them out. But if I remember right, there's going to be a giant hand at one point. But I don't think there's anything over there. So there's a lot of hands up top. And I'm pretty sure they don't come down. Let's see if we can get this guy. Hey, I got him. But they're going to come down once I pick this up. Yeah, here they come. Die. And why didn't the other one come down? If you had a bow or any type of range, you could deal with this. This is what I'm talking about over here. If we run over here, okay, there is an item. I thought there wasn't an item. But we got the big hand. Here he comes. Let's smack him hard. Do the follow-up. And there we go. Pick that up. And he dropped something as well. Here comes the other little hand. I guess that was his trigger was when the big hand came down on the item. Take him out. And now we can go the other path. Oh, hello. Didn't even see that one. He must have been somewhere up top. But let's keep pushing forward. 
and get to the end. Yeah, so there's like several sections all around this capital. I mean, it's massive. I do like the capital a lot. Let's come down this way. I don't know if we can actually grab these. Okay, this is butterflies. And we've been that way before. That is actually the underground. Oh, yeah, watch out for these grabbers. Oh, he got me. Crap. They are frustrating, the grabbers. And you got to be really careful because they can chain grab you like crazy. But that's the actual underground area over there. And that was the door that we opened up when we went down there for the five seconds that we were down there. But we're going back in this episode, so we are now behind a gargoyle. Take him out. Now we can hop down and get all these items. Give me the goodies. And pick that one up. That's a dagger. What's interesting about that dagger, by the way, is that we actually got that as a quest reward from that dude at the fort. Don't know his name. Don't remember. But I'm just going to call him the dude at the fort. Now, once we beat the capital, though, there is, like, the end of a side quest we can go and do which i've never done the end of that side quest and where are we exactly so we are now where we've been before i should double check the area but this is actually where the dragon wing is that i talked about if we go up top i might actually go up there just to get the grace maybe but there's still actually more to explore here so i want to do that first but we are officially behind these enemies now i don't think i did a full item grab in this area i don't want to trigger all the enemies though i've already killed them okay yeah over here there's an item that we can grab let's try to take him out do our little special attack and i hate that attack that they do that shield bash because they actually are like really good about blocking you while they attack and i don't think there's anything else because we should have actually grabbed the rest of those items i want to say there's not oh hello ain't that something that's gonna be kind of frustrating but if i block i should be okay he's gonna do some chip damage to me of course i could always roll through the attack that would be awesome but he missed now i can go ahead and do my attacks please i think i hear him Okay, I thought for a second, that's lucky to get the Great Bow. I thought the other ones were coming after me. Let's go up the wing, though, because there's going to be a Grace up here. Let's grab that. And then, to be honest, I might go ahead and just teleport back to the balcony. I think that would be the way to go about this. There's a material there. Pick that up. There might be more of that material up here, but I'm not going to trip over that. I do want to just run over here real quick. Hello. I don't think I've ever actually like ran across this wing and looked everywhere. But where we need to go is just up this way. And now we can jump down. Pick up the item and we can go up the ladder. I'm pretty sure the grace is like right up here. If not, we might have to run a little bit forward. But it's not going to be a big deal. And I think I can level up now. So I will actually do that and get that dex up to 60. And yeah, we do have to run a little bit forward. Watch out for the knight here. Let's take him out quickly. We're out of FP. Block that force attack. Aha, that was a bad idea, buddy. Pick that up. Let's chug the FP potion. And I'm just looking still. Oh, watch out. So down there, actually, that is a pretty cool little spot. And we will be doing that. That is actually... Watch out for this guy. That spot down there is the round table, but like the real one? It's interesting. It's literally the round table, but it's like the abandoned round table. So we got the grace. Let's go ahead and rest at it. And I'm going to level up, get my decks up to 60. And I'm not going to adjust my potions. I, I'm remembering it, but... I kind of like having the 12 healing. I know that like if I'm going to explore for a really, really long time, it's probably best to have the 4 FP. And I don't think I was actually able to finish what I was talking about. One of the reasons I do like having 4 FP, though, is if you do co-op. If you do any type of co-op, then the 4 FP is super nice. Because then you'll have 2 FP 
whenever you are doing co-op like because it splits your healing you have five normal healing and then you have two fp so it's not bad all right let's take the guy out a lot of items up here now this door will eventually open and this will take us to the abandoned round table area i was just talking about but you don't actually have to go this way the idea actually it's really weird the idea is that you're supposed to actually hit a switch a lever and then when you hit the switch it opens this door so you're actually supposed to kind of like come over here and now you can get in but when you hit the switch you can just hop down from that spot like you don't actually have to go this way so if you just hop down that's good so i already cleared this i'm pretty sure take him out yeah i've cleared that that's where that knight with the bow was so let's not do that i'm just double checking right now and if we go up top over here this is where all those enemies are up there but hey there is an item over here that i miss so let me pick that up and the knight's coming after us so let's take him out real quick come on there we go and the plan is to go the other way because if we go the other way there's a bunch of stuff over there there's actually a pretty strong i think there's a crucible knight there's a crucible knight coming up but there is a door that we can open up and when we do that then there's like a ton of enemies and stuff but the thing is is that this is the path that we take once we beat the capital i just want to clear it now because later on when we come this way we can just run past everything it's best to run past everything over here so first let's make a left because this giant door and my first playthrough I did not realize you could open this door. I don't know why I never even tried it. I just assumed that this was locked. But no, it's not. You can open it right away. And this takes you to the path to get to a lift. And that's where you need to go once you beat the capital. So when I beat this place, it took me like an hour to figure out where exactly do I have to go now. Because I remember that I seen the door, but I completely forgot about the door. And then finally I refound the door. I'm like, oh, wow, I can open this. And then I realized that's the way to go. Now over here, there are a knight. He's got golden eyes. These other enemies, though, will call with the horn. That's, there he is. See, you don't want that. I think he got it off. That is a bummer. So there's going to be a lot of little soldier guys that are going to come after us. Let's be smart about this and try to just back up a little bit and chill let them come to us that knight's gonna be worth some xp come on over oh my god of course he can hit me through the wall all right here we go back up come on okay there's this follow-up i want to get a backstab if i can there we go got a stun on him let's do our full attack got him 6500 xp i will take that take this guy out and we can go ahead and explore back. Oh, another one. We can go ahead and explore back here. I think there's one item back here. This spot, I don't believe is kind of worth coming over here. And when I say that type of stuff, I do think it's always worth, for the most part, to always go everywhere on the first playthrough. But let's see what the reward is, because if it's something really pointless, if you're doing another playthrough, you could probably skip it, right? Like, that's kind of the idea pick this up what is that yeah is that helmet really worth it probably not it's ugly and even if it had like an amazing effect which i don't think it does if it did i would not equip that thing it's just too ugly and there's a crafting material back here and that's about it so yeah if you wanted to skip coming over here you could skip coming over here so down here this is that elevator i was talking about where it will take us that one spot that we've already cleared so there's no point to actually hit the elevator right now because it's just going to take us down there but instead let's come over here and this is kind of a pointless shortcut because there was a door that was locked and let's be smart about this let's go ahead and actually well i was gonna maybe use my potion but nah can't backstab the guy but we can get behind him and just do our big attack and because he's got a spear he's pretty much doomed that's how it is with these guys oh my god no i love that weapon though 
that probably will be the spear that I'm going to use. I'm going to be straight up. I love that spear. There's a couple other ones. And one of the really good spears that we can get is actually from the Volcanic Manor. If we can get to the boss there, you get a spear. And the boss actually can be difficult. But if you upgrade the spear, which you can, the boss is a cakewalk. But it's a very good spear weapon to actually use with like this great shield build. So it's an option. But let me actually come out here for a second. But if you look, we're right at the very, very beginning now. And yeah. One thing that's interesting, I guess I should check this out. This one guy is supposed to be here. And he's not. And I don't know what's going on exactly. So let me kind of explain this. Maybe I'm forgetting something and I might have to like look it up or something. But all the way back here, where is it? It's this cave right here. This guy. Let me actually go over here real quick because it says he's here. Basically, when you first like meet this guy, he is like invisible in the bush. Remember that? Did I never give him the thing or something? What's going on here? Oh my god, I never did. Oh wow, that's amazing. I can't believe I forgot that. But yeah, you meet him, he's like invisible in the bush, and then you come in here, and you beat the boss, and you get the sewing needle, you can give it to him, and then he moves around, but he's one of these NPCs that it's like, yeah, I'm not gonna go to every single spot that he ever spawns, because there's a lot of them, and normally, he will then move, let me show you, unfortunately, I might have missed this, because I'm in the capital now, but he moves right here. So I'm going to come over here and check this out. And maybe he'll be here. Maybe he won't. I have no idea. But let's check it out. Is he here? Probably not. No. But you can talk to him here and get some dialogue and something. I don't know. But then after that, he's going to move to the capital. And he's going to be here where we just were. And at this point... We can give him the golden needle, which we got from, let me show you on the map. Where was that? It is the Church of Vows. Where is it though? I'm losing it. Here it is. So we got the golden needle from a chest in there. And he's not here. Okay, where is this dude? That's the thing. I. Okay, no, there he is. Maybe he was there the whole time. So if we talk to him... We can actually give him the needle, and then we do get some options here. And he will, for free, alter your clothes. Which, generally speaking, when you alter your clothes, you just make them look a little different. A lot of times you remove the cape. It lowers like the defensive options a lot, but it also will make it a little bit lighter. Let's talk to him again. And I don't know why I can't give him the needle right now. That's interesting. I do, I do know, though, that when you give him the needle, you get an option. And one of them is that he can, like, become human or something. I don't remember what the good option is. There's really probably not one. One will keep him around where you can use him for the free altar. And then the other one, he basically will, like, die, I guess. I don't remember. It's not too important, though. Um, I'll try to figure this out later and get back to it, but for now, I don't know what to do. I can't give him the needle, and we're just going to say screw that. So let me think here. I guess I've done most everything. The thing I didn't do was I didn't go clear that one area, which I wanted to, but I kind of got sidetracked talking about that guy. So now let's go clear that area, because then later on, I can run past all this stuff. So we're going to go back to where that giant door was. And there's a lot of enemies over here. It, it is very dangerous. That's why I'm saying you should run. Just because there's one of these red line enemies. That's what I always call them. But they are up there on the oh my god what is this enemy list. Because they are super aggressive and they can absolutely wreck you. And I know that there's definitely one over here. There might be two. And, oh my god, they are something else. So let's take this guy out. Oh, of course he dodges me. And there's going to be a couple things around here. Of course, my phone went off. Okay. Let's go ahead and take these guys out over here. And pick this item up. 
pick that up. Now there's a very interesting enemy. It's like a dog that's like super passive. I don't remember exactly. We'll see in a second here because I'm going to go head over there right now. But there's like a really unique dog like in this area. So there's also going to be a bunch more of those guys. And over here there will be a couple items to grab. So let's come this way first. And there is a dog here. But that's a normal one. It's going to try to kill us. There's a couple more over here. And take them out. Pick up the item. Let's check this out. So, let's try to do our weapon arc. Take them both out at the same time. Nice, nice, nice. And watch out, another dog. Take him out. Pick that up. And I'm just kind of looking around right now. And the unique dog's at the very end. And there's like some other enemy over there. I think it's, it might be a strong enemy too. That part I don't really remember exactly. But we're about to see here. And let's look. So yeah, there's a dog sitting right there. Okay, it's a lion enemy. There are two lion enemies over here, right? The dog will not attack you. It's really, really wild. Now look, the lion guys, I just two-shotted them, right? But man, they can wreck you. You gotta be careful. But look at this dog. What is this? It's really, really bizarre. And of course, I have to kill him because I'm kind of an asshole, I guess. Let's see what the messages say. Yeah, I know, right? Like, it's very weird. It's like, the, it's really random almost. Like, there's just a random dog chilling there. And I think he responds. Let me know. Like, I don't know exactly. Does he respond? It'd be crazy if he did. I would think he didn't because he's so unique. But, yeah, I don't really understand it. It's, but it's interesting. But anyway, now we can go up the steps. And up here, this is the dangerous spot. There's another one of these red line guys up here. But what makes it dangerous is that you have that enemy, plus you have some of these perfume enemies, which are the Pyromancer Dust people, who you know I don't like, just because they can easily wreck you. But hey, look at this. Hold up. I'm going to be smart. We going to summon. If you could summon, why the hell not? There we go. And now we got some backup, and that backup's going to wreck this area. All right. Come on down. Help me. There we go. We got one. One thing about this spot is that it's real quick to get everything on you at once. And yeah, these things, they can put that little bubble on the enemies. And man, is that that's really, really frustrating at times. Take that guy out. Another perfume enemy. There's a lion. Hello. And yeah, the lion actually bounces off. See, what a shield. The lion's not so bad. But without a shield, oh my god, that thing is something else. Come over here, take that guy out. There's definitely an item up here. These guys are kind of passive too. Like, they're not actually attacking me. Yeah, I don't think they do. But you know, that's, you know how it is. We gotta murder everything. And look, there's even another person murdering all these things. Okay, there is an item. There's not one right up there, but there is something down here. Let's go grab this. There's actually a couple items, I believe, because there's one up top and there's one by that statue. Is there one by the statue? There's a big enemy down there. Um, okay, this is a big one too. Cool, take him out. And let's go ahead and hop down. I want to say there's no item down here. Is Wow, that guy's passive as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, there is an item. All right, pick that up. Now we can go ahead and make our way to the lift and just kind of check it out for a second, but we can't really do anything with it because we have to beat the capital first. But later on, I did not grab any of these items. Let's make sure I grab these. But later on, when I come back here, I'm just going to run past everything and just run right up the steps and get to the lift and just go because it's one of those spots you don't really want to try to sit there and kill everything you can get completely wrecked and I'm just kind of looking around but yeah I think the lift is basically the end here which we can take this up top but once we get to the very end we can't do anything because we can't use the lift yet so we're not going to bother with that and instead let's go ahead and head over to this west capital rampart 
and we will go ahead and start working on the top area now I'm just trying to think real quick is there anything I missed on the bottom I want to say no I could be wrong because there could be a whole little area that I completely forgot about unfortunately that's how it is with the capital but I think I've done everything on the bottom so now we're gonna go do everything on the top but I'm gonna go ahead and cut this ahead I'm gonna see you guys in a moment Alrighty, that's kind of a random spot to spawn. You think you spawn right by the grace, but nope, not in that case. Okay, well, we are going to come out this way. I'm just looking around real quick. But down here, one, there's an item. I think there's an enemy as well, chilling somewhere. But this is where we are going to find the lever I was talking about to open that door to get to the abandoned round table area so take that guy out you don't really know what this lever does by the way let's see does it show me i guess it kind of does i mean we don't know for sure but yeah it's opening the door right below me and that's the staircase i was talking about so yeah technically i guess you're supposed to maybe teleport back or go back to that balcony and then you just go there but you can go ahead and just hop down right here there's really no issue with that don't even take any damage so there you go now there are some archers over here and the archers are very frustrating so we need to be careful about that let's get behind this guy there's several knights that's the main thing there's gonna be a lot of these knights over here and i think the archer is alive and he is trying to murder me so i'm trying not to get hit by him luckily this spot is a good little cover okay that's a unique weapon here he comes awesome come on bro stop doing the shield bash i hate the shield bash i want you to do other stuff all right that's kind of good let's i just want to get behind you come on there we go well that didn't really work out i should have just guard countered him there but that's gonna kill him there we go archer is down he is probably the most frustrating of all these enemies and there is an item back here this is another i guess this is technically the same dragon pick that up but this is a giant dead dragon over here it's absolutely epic and let's look good 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 so there's an item we need to get up on this and jump from the claw to get to the item so just kind of walk on the claw jump and then again run and jump and i missed it crap i'm gonna read the note that's a pretty far jump there i know that's how you get it though i remember this but let's do it again and what does it say yeah try jumping i got you but that's pretty far jump this is gonna be annoying let's see if i can get on the second try oh my god yeah that's crazy okay this might be one of those moments to get a little light you know so you get the better jump it's not as bad as the one jump, though. Nothing is as bad as that somber seven jump. Okay, there you go. I know the secret. I'm going to show you. So the secret to this jump, I'm sure there's other ways of making it, but I'm pretty sure if you jump on this spot, you're going to make it. If you jump like before that, you'll probably come up short like I did the first two times. Now, there's going to be several items like hidden around in these little like side areas. So... We need to thoroughly check them out, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and come in through this way. There's two ways of coming in here. One is this way, and the other is going to be jumping up top. So, yeah, this is like an abandoned... That's a cool outfit too, by the way. But this is an abandoned round table. It's crazy. So we come over here, we pick this up. And there's some unique stuff over here too. Let's go ahead and come down here. I'm pretty sure there is a grace right here. Yes, there is. And there's a painting. Now, this painting is probably the most important painting in the game for the longest time when the game first came out. At this point, all of this has been completely patched. So, luckily it was. Because there is a fire spell that literally sets yourself on fire. And the amount of crazy shenanigans you could do with that was insane. You could instantly curse people like that was insane by just rolling into them and you could actually get a shield that every time you would do the weapon art which it didn't take up any this is the craziest part it didn't take up any fp 
I mean, that was insane. You could spam it. It just drained a little bit of stamina. But what the shield would do is that it would block spells or reflect spells back. But because you're on fire, the game like thought that you were constantly getting hit by a spell. So you could just keep shooting this insane shield. And honestly, like that shield was so overpowered. Like if you wanted to just blast through the game and have no issues at all, making a build with that shield and then just steamrolling the game, it was insane. Like, oh my God, it was a lot of fun though. Okay, so there was a dog in there, just double checking. And let's keep going. There's more enemies coming up, more dogs and stuff. That branch is going to take us up to one of the areas. I call this the top part just because it's pretty massive. I mean, there's a lot to do up here, but probably not as much as the bottom. Just kind of looking. What does this say? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. And there's another dog chilling over here. Take him out, pick up the item. So, I think there's something in here. I see that item all the way over there. What's that? Huh. How do you get to that? That is interesting. I think that... I think that actually is an item that you can only get from up there. Huh. Okay, well, I'll have to remember that and try to figure that one out. But let's go ahead and take out the dog. Now we're going to go to the top portion of the round table area. So if you just jump up here, you can get this item. And then you can go ahead and just hop up over here. And we are at the top, which is probably better than the bottom because there's a lot more to do. And this this is what we're more familiar with, where the blacksmith is and stuff. I'll pick that up. Pick this up. And in here... There is a couple items as well. Get that and that. Let me go ahead and come down this way. There's an item, but don't don't fall off. Like if you keep going, you're going to fall off and that's going to take you back to the bottom. Do not want that. Now we can get actually get to the round table. And there's an item right on the round table. Let's pick that up. And if we go to where the fingers normally are, I think this is where a unique weapon is, and it's a pretty cool one. It is a faith weapon, but it scales purely off of, or it is purely like a holy thing or something. Or maybe it doesn't. It might actually just have a really unique attack. So where is that sword? Yeah. Uh, this sword has, no, it is purely holy, but it has a unique attack on it. It's pretty good. I, I like it a lot go ahead and come over here pick this up and I was like going to originally use a straight sword for this build because anytime you're talking about like a brand new player build honestly like if you go with a shield and a straight sword that is the ideal like beginner player setup because it's just so easy like it just it really is but I there really wasn't a good straight sword to get right away at the start of the game. But there was one that was incredibly overpowered. And that was the original plan. But that plan backfired because they nerfed the sword. And it still is a good sword. But I just kind of thought, you know what? I'd rather use this. This is such a better weapon. This Bloodhound Fang is so good. Alright, so I think we're good here. We got everything from the round table area. Now we can go ahead and actually leave. I'm just going to leave the way I came in because then I'm just going to go up the branch. Could teleport back as well because there is stuff to do over there. There's actually a little bit of a mini boss coming up. Let's go ahead and hop down. But yeah, we can run up this way. And I want to figure out how to get to that item. I'm pretty sure it's something pretty basic and simple because it's just over there. So I'm just going to hop off that i didn't really mean to do that but whatever cool cool you don't want to go all the way up the branch if you go all the way up the branch you're gonna actually get to the first boss of this area and believe it or not there is more after that so let's take out all these guys first and then we'll actually start fighting the gargoyle and just like every time we've ever fought one of these things it is only frustrating because he moves around so much that's the part that kind of sucks outside of that 
pretty basic, easy stuff, but the moving around is super, super annoying. He does hit hard too, so he can kill you pretty easily. But I'm just blocking and chilling, waiting for my opportunity to strike. There we go. And he is a goner. Goodbye. That should kill him. No, it didn't. Of course. Run and jump. There we go. Got him. And here's another golden seed. All right. Cool. We also got the gargoyle's halberd, which I like that weapon too. Okay, so down here, this is where that item is. And this is what I was thinking. I said earlier it was an enemy. And this is what I was thinking. There's an enemy in the corner chilling right here. So take him out. And then let's go get this item here. Thank you. Don't jump down. I don't think there's any reason to jump down. You're screwed if you do. You have to run all the way back up. And I'm just double checking. I think we're good there. Come back up. And let me just look. Because I didn't actually come out here. This is just a view. Okay, so that's that area over there. And that's that area over there. All right. Now we can go ahead and start working on this spot. So instead of going all the way up the branch right now, we're going to just keep going forward. And let me actually use one of these. There's going to be one of these kind of unique enemies. You don't see these guys too much, but they're pretty easy. And let me go to the left real quick. Actually, I think there might be a lot to this left. Oh, no, no, no. We got to get all the way up top. Okay, I'm just checking. We're good. There's nothing over there. Now let's go ahead and keep going up and we'll fight this guy. I think there's two of these guys actually up here. Normally this guy's all over you. I guess he just didn't see me coming. But I do like these dudes. They're pretty cool. Gladiators or whatever you want to call them, I guess. They're definitely gladiators. So they stun like hell though. And if they stun like hell... They are going to just get completely destroyed. That's just the reality of it. Here's another one. I mean, what I like about them is I like their weapons. I mean, that's really badass, you know. Dual wielding hammers, having the giant battle axe. That's pretty awesome. So that is a talisman. I think that's a defensive one, though. And I'm just going to make my way over here. It's getting dark again. Oh, my God. Is this game for real? I just made it morning keep going so yeah nothing over here outside of that if we go all the way to the opposite side there's a couple more things to grab and then we will make our way to the boss once we're done exploring this spot but yeah there's gonna be several little side nooks to check pretty sure there's nothing up here yeah there's nothing i'm sure this is a troll yeah of course, that's a troll. There's no, there's no hidden path. I'm not even going to bother hitting it. So yeah, there's some guys chilling. They don't even get up, so... Easy kills for me. Die, die, die. Give me your item. And is there an item in this one? I think there is. Nope, not in this one either. I think there's one at the last one. Oh no, that was the last one. Well, where's the item? No, okay. This is the last one, and the item is in this one. Let's go and pick that up. And that's actually one of their weapons. Is there anything back here? I could swear there was. Yes, okay, there is. There's an item back here. Grab that. And now we are good. So, let's go back to this, Grace. And we will make our way to the very first boss of this area. But I'm going to cut this ahead. I'm going to see you guys in a moment. All righty, well, let's do this. We're about to go and fight this very first boss of this area. There are two. The very first one, though, is going to be a cakewalk. We're very, very overpowered, and I don't see this being a problem, especially if I summon. It won't be an issue. Now, the second boss will be a little bit more difficult, and after this point, if we keep progressing forward, which I'm not exactly sure on how I want to do this i don't really know wow how lucky i got two pieces of armor i'm kind of feeling like i do want to make progress i don't want to just sit around doing a bunch of side stuff i want to keep pushing forward but at the same time i do want to also of course do the side stuff i just know like volcanic manor doesn't really make a lot of sense until i can actually go and do all of the missions for them 
And also, I guess we do have to still go around and do everything around the capital outskirts and also the volcanic manor itself. There's still a lot of stuff to do. Now, these guys can actually drop their spear weapon. And that's a pretty awesome weapon. I'm going to be honest. I really like it a lot. It's a spear, but it kind of swings more like a sword. It's actually a sword spear. Yeah, of course, that makes complete sense. But it's a nice little fast dexterity weapon. So check it out if you get one. If you want to play around with it a little bit, it's pretty cool. So that's the final item that I think I didn't grab. So hopefully I got pretty much everything else. Now we're going to come up here. There's one more guy chilling up here. Let's take him out. And let's get ready for this fight. So the moment I walk in, I'm going to summon. So let me get that ready now. Let's walk in. We're going to drink our drink. We're going to summon and try to dodge out of the way of this. Because he's going to try to attack me. And no, I'm good. I can just block. And yeah, the black knife is doing its job. And man, is that awesome. Yeah, this guy is really aggressive though. And one thing about this dude. We will see him again later on. As one of the later bosses of the game. And oh my god. That version of him is not a joke. This might be kind of a joke. That's not a joke. And we just got a very awesome item, which is the final talisman pouch. Which I haven't really given much thought to it on which one do I want to use. Now, a good option would probably be to say, let's go with stamina regeneration. And if not that, we could maybe raise like our strength just so that we can get a little bit more damage. This is a good one because it gives you three things, equipment, load, stamina, and HP, but... I kind of like to wait until we get the plus one version or the plus two version of it. And I'm just trying to see, is there anything else here that is really nice to put on now? I mean, the winged sword insignia is really good, but it's better with a really fast swinging weapon. I'm going to say I'm going to go for the stamina regen. Why not? It's always nice to get a little bit faster stamina regen. Now, we're going to go this way first. There's actually two paths to go over here. Let me check this out and see what's over here. But there's going to be a spot where we're going to get to a Crucible Knight. And then there's actually the top area. The top area is where we actually need to go, though. But there's actually a lot of stuff. I guess I'll go the other way first. Just because why not? That's actually the wrong way to go. And yeah, there's a lot of, like, dead people over here. Okay. Let's keep pushing. Check this out. I want to say there's nothing over here. Yeah. That's very bizarre. You would think they would put something. Now to get up top, we got to take that branch up. But like I said, I'm going to save that for later. So let's just make our way this way. And I believe we're going to go down some steps. And that's going to take us to this other little area that we can clear. Where there's a crucible night. I'm just kind of looking around. What's over here? ladder yeah you can kick down a ladder i guess kind of an interesting shortcut okay let's check this out item ahead yes nice give me that and i thought this was a door for a second but it's not let's go ahead and now come down this way and i believe this is an elevator over here let me check the corner as well there's a random message what does this say it's probably a troll Offer seed. Okay, I don't really understand that. Let's go ahead and come here. Take the elevator down. Now, there's also going to be one of these invisible scarabs over here. So, we're just going to have to figure out the pattern and take it out. So, let's come on down here. And just making sure. I don't think there's really a lot of stuff down here. There's some pyromancer guys. Make sure to get them right away. Ah, fire, I hate it so much. Oh, I hate that too. I hate how they run away. They dodge like crazy. They're super frustrating. Pick that up. And let's come over here and we can fight the Crucible Knight before I try to figure this thing out. Come on. Maybe I'll accidentally hit it when it's coming back. Ow. No, we're, this is an easy one because he's got the spear, so he's going to bounce off and stuff. And we're just going to do some crazy damage to him as well. Oh, God, come on. So, do that. One more follow-up, and we got him. 
but he does not drop anything. It's just XP, and that is, of course, kind of bizarre. Here we go. This is always frustrating with these things because you got to figure out the pattern. Technically, yes, you can stand in one spot. I'm going to stand right here. Come on. Got him. That's probably your best bet is just to stand where I stood right there and just wait for him to turn around and do some type of AoE swing and you should get him no problem. Now we need to go back. I'm actually going to teleport just because I'm lazy like that. We need to go here and... Now we can go up top, which there are several items to get up there, but we're going to make our way into like a throne room, and then we will actually, actually it's not really a throne room, it's more like a bedroom, I don't know, we'll see, a library maybe, I don't really remember, I think it's a library, there's a lot of books or something in there, but let's come on over here, and if we come out this way, we can go ahead and jump off the side. I'm just looking over here. This is not where we need to jump. Oh, look at that, though. You could totally jump that way, but that's pointless. Where we need to go is over here, and we can jump down here, and there's an open window for us to go through. So let's do that. And now we're up top, and there's a couple things to get. There's a chest over here. Let's make sure we grab that. There's also an item like right in the middle. That's actually the bow, which is pretty cool. Pick this item up, and here's the ladder that guy was talking about. So kick that down, just in case we mess this up, which I don't think you're going to mess this up. And we just need to come on over here. I really did not think you could grab it from here, to be honest, the first time. I thought you had to jump to it. And yeah, no, you just grab it. No problem. And I think that's it. Okay, we are good. So we got that item. That's another one of the miracle books. Again, save it and give it to the turtle at the Church of Vows. If you're going to give those up, give them to him and you can get all the items that way. Don't give it to some random faith user. This is a black knife right here. Watch out. And yeah, these things are always something. But I like you. You're a good friend of mine now. Can you get a backstab? Yes, you can. Awesome. Come on, get up and get hit. There we go. And we also have a lot of XP right now. So yeah, this is kind of a library. There's a lot of stack books. Okay. And I said bedroom earlier because of this. Our throne room because of this. It's like, what is this exactly? Is this a throne? Is it a bed? I have no idea. Are those books? I don't even know. Is it just stone? I can't tell. Okay, let me go ahead and level up now because we're about to start this boss battle and oh boy. I'm not looking forward to it exactly. I, I'm i not too worried about it though. I feel like I'm going to wreck it. It's not going to be super difficult, but we will see. Also, I probably should have switched my mixed potion because... I'm not sure if the Stamina Regeneration stacks with the Talisman and the Drink. So that's something you could probably do. But the moment we walk in here, we're, we're going to get a cutscene, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and get ready to summon. And let's do this. Now, I actually forgot to mention something. We do have an item that can help with this fight. I'm going to talk about it later. Because if you can pull off this item, you can actually stun this guy. So that's pretty nice if you could do it. But I'm just blocking and circling. And he gets pretty crazy as you lower his health. I don't think he's a two-phase boss though. We're not at that point of the game. At the end game, every boss is a two-phase boss. And it's like, oh my god, what is this? This is crazy. You think you have won? You have not won. You are screwed. Let me back up and he's about to explode. So back up when he does that. You don't want to be close. And now things get kind of crazy, especially with his crazy AoEs like that. But we are doing crazy damage ourselves. Let me back away from the swords. I'm just blocking. Yeah, you see, this isn't so bad. The black knife definitely helps a lot. And I'm so OP, I do so much damage. Okay, he healed. No, he didn't. The black knife effect wore off. 
but there we go nice and here is the throne right here oh i broke it and we actually did get his great rune which is pretty awesome and one thing you have to do here is you have to run up here and interact with this if you don't then you can't make any progress so just come over here and read that pretty much is telling you you have to burn it and if you look at the door now the door is locked so we have to use this grace here and the girl's going to come and talk to us and kind of tell us what we need to do we got to go to the mountain of the giants and basically that is going to be the next part and that is where the end game officially begins so it gets a lot harder there trust me the next major boss in the story is insane like if that guy is a joke in comparison to the next major boss so it's something to look forward to let's make sure we talk to her and now we can go ahead and do the sewer once he's dead we can actually get access to the sewer so i think she's repeating herself now but also it puts a little like marker for you over here and yeah we need to go that way remember that giant door that i opened and i talked about running past those enemies to get to the elevator well this is where you need to go for that and then that's going to take us over here and see here's the thing when it comes to the volcanic manor once we do like these little kill quests when we go back eventually it's going to be a kill quest like all the way over here so you kind of need to make progress there before you actually beat the volcanic manor if you want to not mess up any of the side quests so it is something to remember okay but i'm now going to go ahead and teleport to the underground and this is going to be hard because this is definitely considered in game the enemies are a lot stronger here and oh boy the boss should be interesting i don't think i'm going to struggle too much against the boss but it's going to be hard so i'm going to go ahead and cut this ahead i'm going to see you guys in a moment all righty now we can actually fight these enemies out here and oh man these ogre guys they are super tanky a lot of times you'll actually bleed them with your weapon now if you can do three ashes of war you're gonna knock them down the big thing is is that they actually have a kick if they do the kick they're gonna get hyper armor so watch out for that and you can also backstab them that's a good way of actually taking them out if you can get the backstab on them then you can kind of wreck them i'm trying right now so hard to get behind him but it ain't working all right we're just gonna do that then the follow up and luckily they're not doing the kick i'm actually shocked most of the time when you're doing your ash of war they'll counter you with that kick and if they do that then you are going to take some damage so I'm going to hop back down here. We've been down here before, and we don't need to worry about all that. But I'm going to go ahead and make a right. Okay, leave me alone, rats, for a second. And we're going to come here. Now, am I going to get lost down here? Absolutely. There is no doubt. One thing to watch out for here are the holes. You see that hole there? If you fall down those holes, it's going to take us to a different path. But in some cases, it's not a bad idea. In fact, that's probably the first case where I'm pretty sure I kind of want to fall down the hole. And the reason why, hey, stupid slug, is that this is going to take us to the opposite side of, like, a fence. Yeah, it does. So there's an item down here. Let's take these guys out. And we can actually open, like, a door that's normally locked. This door, I think, is locked from the other side, if you discover it later. And we can go ahead and open it now. So let's do that there we go and we can go this way instead but we do want to of course explore the entire tunnel and don't worry about that there's really nothing over there outside it's just a bunch of slugs it's a good idea to probably kill them you don't really have to though just watch your footing make sure there's not a hole there that you're going to just run into and fall because that is where you'll waste a lot of time here and trust me everyone gets lost in these tunnels like it's insane the sewer here is nuts so that's another hole there 
Let's jump across, pick up the item, and keep going. Is that the door? Oh, no. Okay, we can go down. There's going to be one of those enemies. I always talk about these guys, and I always wreck them when I talk about them. But, trust me, oh my god, they can destroy you. Like, when I first did this spot, I got killed by this enemy several times down here. So, you kind of have to be ready for it. That's the purpose of the guide, right? So, first things first, when you come over here, kill the little guys if you can. But get ready. Once we kill this one, we have to try to get on this big enemy right away. If we do... We're going to be able to be okay. If we don't, we might get wrecked. There, he's coming out. Get the free hit if you're ready for it. Actually got two free hits there. And there's the poison. Take him out. And that was very easy. The problem with that guy is that he will pop up and surprise you. And when he does, oh boy. They're very aggressive. And it's really hard to actually attack them a lot because they're attacking you so much that you can't really get your attack off and that's how they wreck you now let's go ahead and go back now that's pretty much it for that little part because you had one side of the fence and then that's the other side of the fence now what we're looking for down here is we're actually looking for a path i think it's actually this way maybe which is going to take us to a ladder it is definitely this way because the slugs there's all the slugs here and they would be dead if I been here before so let's pick that up and take him out I believe there's a ladder maybe coming up is this it yes it is so be ready here because yeah there's an ogre right away he's just jumping on down okay cool well if you're gonna do that I'm gonna take my free hits and I am so shocked they are not doing the kick maybe they like nerf these enemies or something because on my first playthrough, man, they were kicking me all the time. It was ridiculous. All right, come on down. Do that. No kick. This is incredible. Really cannot believe this. Okay. Well, if they don't kick you, then they're super easy. Because every hit will stun them. As long as you have the FP to do your special attack, you're good. But, I mean, look at this loot down here, man. Oh, hello. There's a third one. All right. Oh, God. Now, they also do have a grab, so watch out for that, too. You don't want to get grabbed by them, but you can generally stun them. All right, that was hyper armor there. Oh, my God. See how much damage he does? It's insane. All right, get behind him. Great. And I'm kind of run out of FP, but do that. Do the follow-up. No, we didn't have enough FP, but after so many hits, if you have a bleed weapon, you will bleed them, and they take a lot of damage from bleed. There's no doubt about it. But now we can climb up and we can actually open up one of the paths over here. You're going to get a ton of XP, by the way. A ton. It's ridiculous. So let's pick this up. And now we can go ahead and open the door. So if we die or if we want to just rest, we can do that. If you do rest, though, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. If you do rest, make sure that you just run past these guys. I mean, they're very easy to run past. I wouldn't waste your time fighting them every single time. But they are good XP. For some reason, I thought this was a door. I think it's the other side I'm thinking of. So, another path that we need to take... Oh, here's the door. Okay. This is confusing because you might think this door is locked. It is not. You can open it. And this is actually going to take us to the other side over there. There's Well, there's a door somewhere around here. This is the right way to go. There is another path we can go, and we will definitely explore that path, but I think there's just a lot of loot over there. So I'll make sure to do it, though. So let's take this guy out and grab this item, but that's not where we're going. We're going to go back to the top, and we're going to drop down from up here, because you can walk off from here and hop on down. There's a scarab down here, so be ready to take it out. It looks like that's one of the ones that would explode. What's going on with my lock-on? There we go. He drops a somber six, which is super nice. And we can go ahead and push down. That up. That's an enemy there, but he's not bothering me. And I don't know why I'm losing my voice. It's probably because this episode is so long. Oh, God. We're going to get through this, though. All right, just swallow that. There we go. And keep pushing forward flower take him out and i think there's another one like right here well here's a path i need to actually get a look at this to figure out like what's best 
I believe there's a giant flower down here. Yes, there is. Is this the other spot? No, that can't be right. Let's come on down. And let's take the flower out. Oh, God. Oh, hello. Watch out. Don't want to get cursed. That would be awful. You got poison and curse right here. That's just terrible. Just do normal attacks and take him out. And I need to figure out which way is the actual correct way. Let's check this out. Is this it? No. Great. Wait, maybe. I don't know. Take him out. Oh, God. The stupid curse. Running backwards probably is a good idea. All right. So that's where you get those ashes. That's pretty much it right there. So now we can go back up and go the other way. And this other way, I'm pretty sure, is still the right way to go. Our goal is to open up one of the doors that is locked right by the grace. When you're in this area, there's a door that will say it doesn't open from that side. That's where we're going right now. And once we get to that area, watch out. There's a lot of these guys over here. And they're going to take two hits to die. There's several more behind me. I'm just chilling here, waiting for that to go away. Come on. Can you come over here, please? There we go. Oh, I missed. All right. Oh, wow. He's got golden, not eyes. He kind of had a golden nose. I don't know. And this does not open from this side. We'll find that later, though. And here's another one right here. I'm going to do a jump attack. Jump bar two. That's a lot of damage. And keep pushing forward. And are we in the right spot? Yes, we are. So this is the spot that we were looking to try to get to. This guy's actually pretty strong. I believe he's stronger than the other ogre enemies. He does start off the fight by trying to explode. And when they do explode, I'm pretty sure they get stronger or something. I don't know. But I'm just healing and backing up blocking. Ooh, another free backstab. And at this point, he should be a goner. There we go. Is there any more, though? Is that it? Okay, yeah, he's kind of unique. He drops that weapon. He drops that talisman. Let's pick this up. Pick that up. Pick this up. And we can climb up the ladder. Awesome. And yeah, this is going to take us to the top part of these pipes. And the bottom part of the pipes is another path that we can go and explore. And there's a lot of stuff and all that. Oh my god, the gargoyles in here. They can wreck you. There's a lot of them, too. You really want to be smart about how to take them on. You do not want 50 of them coming after you. If you get, like, a bunch of them on you, you're probably going to die. So try to be smart about this and try not to fall off the map. That's the other issue with these enemies is falling off the map. So first thing I want to do is kick that ladder down just to get that part done. Then we will go to the bottom and explore all that. At the very bottom, though... And look, yeah, there's a lot of gargoyles just chilling on the walls and stuff. I'm trying to see if I can take this guy out. At the very bottom, there are lobsters. So we have crabs in this game. We have lobsters in this game. And this is where the Ash of War will backfire and get you killed. But guard countering is super effective against these guys because it knocks them down. And we can get our critical. So I recommend doing that. Try to avoid doing your Ash of War here. Because it will absolutely make you fall off. And there's a gargoyle like right up here chilling. He's not coming down though. Nope. Come on. There we go. Finally. I'm just blocking. And so far I've only been hit by that ranged attack. But I'm telling you they're melees. They hurt so bad. Watch out. Just block that. But there's giant crabs in this game. You know that by now. But there's also lobsters. The lobsters are much worse. And the lobsters that are actually down at the bottom of this area are insane. They are ridiculous. I got so wrecked by them on my first playthrough. It's crazy. But there's actually a somber 7 down there. Oh, I thought I'd get the backstab. There's a somber 7 down there. And that was actually my very first somber 7 I ever got on my very first playthrough. It took me this long to get one. And that's one of the reasons why I feel the way I do. Oh, hello. I feel the way I do about what they did with the other one where they made it really really hard to get and potentially one day they might make it completely impossible to get 
because it's just a bummer. Like, that's just the fun police. I mean, come on. Okay, so the path we need to go if we want to be done with this area is down that pipe right there. So we're not done with this area yet, so let's go ahead and head back. And we can go ahead and actually, I guess, keep going down from here. So let's do that. That way I don't have to go the other way. There's actually like a hole you can drop down where the grace is. And if you do that, you can explore this area. Okay, you know what? I don't know about this. Look at all these blood stains. I don't think we can get access. Oh my god. I mean, there's nothing over here. So what's the point of this? It's just a trap to kill ya. I was thinking about trying to make that jump or something. But that's probably stupid. Like, that would be a very, very bad idea. Unless I can hop down from here. No, there is a scarab at the bottom as well. I can hear it right now, but don't worry about it. If you hear the scarab, it's at the very bottom. So just know it's down there. All right, I'm just trying to see. Can I get access to that area over there? No, there's no way. So let's go ahead and just teleport back. And we are going to go the proper way to actually get to that little bottom section there and explore that. So I'm just going to run past the ogre enemies and we will come right here there's a ladder so let's hop on down and be ready for a lot of gargoyles down here pick that up they're going to be coming from the ceiling they're going to be coming from the sides make sure you don't fall and be ready there's going to be one right away hello and as you can see that might not seem like a lot of damage he just did to me but especially they actually have like heavier hits the heavier hits are going to really hurt but if you get like two or three of those guys on you and they're hitting you for that amount of health, they're going to kill you really quickly. Now be very careful here, like I said, about falling off. Like you don't want that. And also, these guys are going to be coming, you see? There's one right behind me. Now there's another one. Oh my god, this is crazy. Come on, bounce off. Oh my god, I thought I got a two for one. Well, you know what? That works. Take him out. Luckily, you are completely invincible as you're doing this block again and you are a gunner so there's a gargoyle chilling right there well we're gonna let him live there's gonna be one off the side we can see that one and there's also one like right in the middle range here would be pretty nice just to try to aggro these guys a little earlier but that worked out pretty well to be honest come on up you know you want to i don't want your buddies to come yet just take your time here and you should be fine. All right, here comes one right now. Block him. Yeah, this guard counter is working so well against these guys. Oh, man, this is super nice. And, oh, God, there's two of them now again. There we go. Block that. That's the really heavy hit I was just talking about. Oh, he didn't fall down. That's amazing. That heavy hit can destroy you if it hits you. So let's keep pushing forward. And we're going to go down here. We already know there's a gargoyle. He's being really stupid. What are you doing, dude? Okay, let's see if we can actually do this. Nice, it works. Do another one, and we got him. And let's go ahead and come this way now. There's going to be more. Pretty sure there's at least one, maybe two more. But I'm going to hop up. Okay, maybe that was it. I'm used to actually running for my life once you get, like, multiple ones on you. Because if you do get like a lot of them on you or you feel like you're screwed, run for your life. I'm telling you right now. Okay, watch out. Guy's chilling right in the corner here. When they do that little fire attack, it's really easy to get behind them for the backstab. Now let's do this. And then we'll do the follow-up. And just a couple more basic hits. And he's a goner. Let's pick this up. And of course, the guy is camping me. Okay. Open it up. And I know that this opens up, too. When does this open up? Okay, yeah, it's the underground tomb. Oh, boy, I forgot about that. Oh, God. That's a part of this area, so I'm going to do it for sure. But now we can actually hop down to the very bottom. I just need to figure out where to go for that. Like, how do you get to the bottom exactly from here? There's a couple different ways. I think it's over this way. It's maybe the safest route? Yeah, like right here. We can just walk off the side, and this actually might be a bad idea, because you can drop down from over there onto that pipe, 
and then you can be right on top of that lobster and start attacking them right away. Because what you do not want with these lobsters is range. The lobsters are like snipers. It's insane. So you really got to be careful about that. There's also two of them down here. Really? Really, dude? You're just chilling down here, huh? Take him out. You do not want to aggro both lobsters. If you do, it's awful. So we need to be super careful about this. I hope this is going to work. If it does, and I'm telling you, dropping down from the other side where that pipe is, much better idea. So let's try to get in close. These guys also have grabs, so when they do that, though, they're... Oh, God, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I aggro the other one. Yeah, do not drop down the way I did. Go back and drop down the other side. I'm telling you, as much... That's the grab. That's the grab. You got to try to avoid your back up from it. It's really slow, as you can see. Looks like the other lobster's backing off, though. That's good. There's a grab again. All right, good, good, good. Let's try to get in there. See, you trade with these guys. Look at the damage they do. It's insane. Okay. One more, please die. Got him. Okay, yeah. Woo. They're no joke. Let's pick that up here. But the loot is great. We're getting so many sevens. We're about to get the somber seven. Though we don't need that at all. We got like 50 of them now. But it's nice when you don't have any. And I think there's actually two down here. So I'm trying to lure him over this way because there is that scarab. The scarab's like back that way. We don't want to make that thing run away. The last thing in the world we ever want to do is come back down here. That's the sniper attack right there. And I hate that attack. There it is again. Oh my. Dude, it's so fast. Oh, he's do oh, doing it. Okay, if he gets you in that loop, get behind some cover like this, and it should work. Look at my potions. I'm blowing... I had 12 of them. I'm blowing through them from lobsters. It's crazy. Come on, man. There we go. One hit. Ooh. Ooh. God, you hit so hard. Dude, that was so hard. No. Mm -mm. Come on. Chug. Can you do that thing where you get your claw stuck? That was so awesome when the other one had that happen. Oh, my God. Well, he's almost dead. Here we go. Please, please. One more hit. I'm going to heal just in case because I'm scared to death. Yeah. I hate these lobsters. I really do. They murdered me so many times in my first playthrough. And if you're looking at this, I mean, there's some nice stuff down here. But that's up to you if you want to come down here. If you want to avoid this little section, that's fine. Let's see what this guy drops. Yeah, again, it's just another somber seven. We really don't need those. The smithing sevens are pretty okay, I guess, but I want to say we don't need those either. Now, that is actually an important item. Oh, I didn't talk about this either. So that's one of the shackle items. Now, that's for another boss later on, which is the Blood Lord. But we did buy... Why am I looking at talismans? We did buy the shackle... Well, maybe I bought it. I don't know. I remember talking about it, but I don't know if I actually showed myself buying it. But these items, Patches was selling this. So when you first meet Patches, you can buy this from him. At the time, it's like 5,000 runes, which is kind of expensive. But if you do buy it, you can use it on any of the fights against him. And if you can pull it off, you'll stun him. So it's pretty nice. Same with this one. This is another boss we can fight. In fact, we're going to fight... A version of this boss in this underground so technically yes i could use it against him but i'm not a fan of using him i'm gonna be honest it's an option but it's up to you so there's a grace right here and this is actually a whole little underground area not underground it's a catacombs actually but it's a really bizarre one okay because there's no boss down here now, it kind of makes sense because, well, there's a boss of this area, so it would be really bizarre to have, I guess, two bosses of this area or something, but I just don't get it. I'm going to be honest, but I want to level up right now. But let's go ahead and check it out. We'll explore it real quick and open up the door and all that. So here's the giant door, and let's come on over here. Pretty sure there's, like enemies that will keep respawning in this one oh yeah we got zombies as well hello zombie okay that's a lot of damage man 
Take that one out. Well, we're not actually one-shotting them. We only one-shot at the one. Oh my god, that hurts. We only one-shot at the one because we got the sneak damage on him. And we just bled that guy there. Let's go ahead and come up here. And more zombies. You know there's one in the corner. Yep. I knew it. There was one right sitting in the corner. Take him out. Come on. No. Look at the damage. Oh, my God. I wasn't kidding, by the way. This is like in-game area. These guys are scaled up. So, yeah. They hurt. And we just picked that up. Cool. I'll take it, though. And let's keep going. And yeah, these ones are very crazy because uh, they're going to blow up. If you get close to them, they'll blow up. They do hurt each other, though. I, well, not really. And if you kill them, they don't blow up. All right, well, that's good to know. There's another one chilling in this corner here. Take him out if we can. There we go. And with the fire, we just need to hit that to knock it down. There is a path on the right here, so chill here for a second. And let's go get it. Get this done. Don't hit me. There we go. Hit that. And let's grab the item. I'm pretty sure the path we need to go. Oh, crap. Wow. Hitting him actually damaged me. I believe we need to go up there for the actual path, if I remember this place right. But let's check this out over here. Why is there dead zombies? Yeah, see, this is creepy. Like, what killed him? Oh, was it you? Okay, maybe it was you. Well, at this point, I'm so used to fighting these guys, I don't even care. All right, come on. Get the full combo off. Knock him down and finish him off. Pick up the item there. Look at that. A level nine? It's crazy. Well, let's keep pushing. And this is, I believe, the top part where all those zombies were dropping down. And there's nothing up here. This is one of those moments where you want to hit every wall thinking it's a fake one. I don't think so, though. And I don't see any messages. This is a very, very bizarre, like, catacombs just because of the way it's designed. It's interesting. Don't get me wrong. I actually like it, to be honest. It's just, I wish there was a boss. Because when you come down here... And then you get to the place where the boss... Oh, my God. You get to the spot where the boss should be. And you're like, there's not a boss? Like, it's really weird. Like, you think that there's something you're missing. But I'm pretty sure there's really not a boss down here at all. All right, let's take this guy out. And one more. There we go. Now you need to die. Yeah, I guess these guys are a little bit different. Like, they do look different. Like, those are the stronger versions. So, that's a talisman there. And where is the lever for the door? I haven't found that yet. I might have missed it, though. Let me knock that down, chug that, and let's go the other way. I think there might have been two paths earlier. Was there? Okay, now I'm lost. Uh-oh. That's not good. Where is the lever? Well, I'm going to figure this out. Don't worry. But I don't remember ever hitting no lever. Maybe the lever was up top in this area. See, now I'm in the... I'm back. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm officially lost. I forgot this dungeon. Okay. Door's locked. Pretty sure that I missed the lever. I'm going to go back. I'm going to look again. I'm... I want to say the lever is in a very obvious, easy area, and I just forgot to pull it. Because I don't remember this place being massive or having, like, hidden walls or anything like that. Is it in here, maybe? No. And I should also read some of these messages, because you never know. Alright, the left side, yeah. Where is the lever? Oh, God. Maybe it was up top. Like, that might have been the purpose of this spot up here, is that the lever's up here. So let's just take a look real quick. I want to say 100% the lever will be up here. Um, but yeah, there's no messages. That's what's throwing me off, too. You'd think you would see something. 
Yeah, there's no lever up here. Oh, boy. This is not going to end well. I'm going to be running around lost. This is the one issue if I don't do, like, a practice run of this stuff is that I know I'm going to get to a spot where I remember it for the most part, but I forget a minor thing like the lever and I'm screwed for, like, five minutes or ten minutes. Or I, That's what I don't want. I don't want to waste a lot of time looking for something and going in circles. Is the lever in here? Maybe it's in here. Okay, it's not. Is it? No. Uh, uh. Is it at the end of the dungeon? Like, or the other way? Okay, that's the last thing I'm going to check out. And then whatever I do, I'm going to cut it ahead. Like, if I can't figure this out, I'm just going to cut it ahead, figure it out. And then we'll go and not fight the boss, basically. Because when you do open it, you don't fight a boss. You actually... I don't even know what you do. I don't remember that part either. Oops. All right, so let me go back, and then there is there is another way of going, but I'm pretty sure that's the way to get out of here. But that would be very weird if the lever for the dungeon is right there. But who knows? Maybe it is. Okay, let's go this other way. It cannot be over here. That would be too freaking weird. So I'm just missing this. Either I'm blind or something. No, okay, yeah, that's not the lever. Is it up there? Don't tell me that it's up there. That'd be crazy. Okay. What the message say? Well done. Okay, cool, yeah. No lever up here, and there's nothing else up here. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut this ahead, guys. Figure this out. And I will see you in a moment. All righty. Well, I'm an idiot. And I just assumed, remember this spot up here? I just assumed that this is where the zombies were dropping down. No. If I actually look down here, there's a flower. So, I haven't been down here yet. And this is where we need to go. And I hear more zombies getting up. Okay, let's take them out. Oh, don't do the poison crap. Oh, you're doing the poison crap, aren't you? And you're trying to hug me. Did I just block the hug? I think I just blocked the hug. That's amazing. All right, don't hug me. I don't want to be touched. Now you, you die. By the way, I'm not really worried about the boss of this area. I'm pretty sure, even though, yes, it is kind of in-game area, pretty sure I'm going to be okay. And I would say you're going to be okay, too. Um, yeah, that's a very bizarre room. Like... What is up with this catacombs? It's crazy, man. What I'm actually worried about is the nightmare that is in store for you and me both. If you're watching this, I feel bad for you, but you should feel bad for me because we're going to have to do the craziest. What is this? Why is the door open? I'm so confused. What? Wait a minute, what is this? This is crazy, I didn't pull no lever. What is this? Am I back in the... I am! This place is haunted, okay. There is no lever here, that is so weird. You hop down, more zombies spawn. Was the flower always here and I missed it? That would be insane, okay. I don't know, but the door is open now for some reason. Let's go inside. And like I said, there's no boss. There is, I guess, this guy, which he's not really even a mini boss. And is there any loot? Okay, there is an item in here. Oh, there's two of them in here. Okay, it's a boss then. Oh my God. That was a wrestling move. Back up. I want you to die, but I also want to heal because I'm scared. All right, take him out. Now we can heal. Oh, oh. Chug. I was trying to make a point. There's the kick I was talking about. I guess the punch too, actually. The punch will destroy you. Or it has hyper armor on it. Come on, follow up. Oh, no stamina. I gotta get my stamina back so I can block. Here we go. Take him out. And we are good. Okay. So, if you are new to my channel and you haven't watched my previous noobs guides or if you haven't watched any of my playthroughs of any of the Souls games, you might not know 
that I really do not get along with Gravity at all. Me and Gravity, we're not friends, okay? In fact, I would say we hate each other. And what we're about to do at the end, once we beat the boss, is we're going to have to do some Gravity. And it is absolutely the only section in the game that is insane with Gravity, which was surprising to me. I thought, and I talked about this, that there was like the gravity tower and I thought that oh man that place is going to be insane with gravity I'm going to fall off a hundred times nope by the way don't fight these guys don't bother just come over here hit the door and then hit this door right here there's a snail kill the snail and they're all going to die and we get a plus one talisman for our trouble awesome but like I was saying there really isn't any crazy gravity in this game but this is it and it is insane, okay? It is so bad, and I'm terrified of it. But we're gonna do it together, and I'm gonna try to show you how to do it, and I'm gonna probably fail, but you can laugh at me, and hopefully you can not make the same mistake that I'm gonna make. Okay, hello. I'm running. I've already killed you once. <laughs> I killed you once. I'm good. We don't need to really mess with you much. I'm going to try to get to this grace and rest at it. All right, there we go. Now we can actually make progress. We're going to jump down that one hole that I talked about. And we can actually get to the end of this area and fight the boss. So let's take out the gargoyle real quick. Otherwise, he will chase us probably. And we can go ahead and hop down. If we're quick, we might not have to deal with that guy. This is why I like to, oh my god. This is why I like to not rest at Graces. I made a mistake here, didn't I? I went the wrong way. Something's wrong here, wait a minute. I did something. Take this guy out, I just wanna see. Oh, I guess I didn't, no, oh, never mind. All right, well, it's all good. Oh my god, he can climb ladders! Okay, you can't jump in the hole though, bro. Ha ha. He can't jump in the hole, right? Okay, now this spot is kind of uh, interesting. There's holes, so watch out. But there's like some rats. Oh, yeah. Put the lantern back on. There's some rats, and the rats are kind of meant to trick you into falling into the hole. So don't let them. Although, I think we have to fall in the hole. Yeah, I believe we do. So there's a little rat, and then there's a big rat. So here's another hole here. Let's make the jump. And let's try to find Mama Rat. There she is. But I'm going to keep looking around real quick. Just to make sure I don't miss any items. Hello, Mama Rat. Time to die. Okay. Give me your loot. I don't want you to fall. Let's make the jump. Give me the loot. Okay, hello. This is not good. That's not good. Not, not good. All right, we got one. And where are we? Oh, no! Ah. Oh. Okay, now that's awful. I don't like that. Like, that's really, really, really annoying. Can I fast travel? No, there's enemies everywhere. I just want to go back. Ah, oh, crap. Where am I exactly? Yeah, I can't go back. Like, there's too much stuff. Okay. Take out the guy. Can I fast travel now? Yes. All right, we're just going to go back, and we will go ahead and try that again. One of the holes, I think it's like the very first one, you're meant to fall down. I wanted to just explore the area to make sure I got everything, but I don't know. <sighs> All right, so let's try it again, and I think I might just fall down the first hole. There might be an item that I missed, though. Me doing this might miss an item. Let me know, you know, if you get it and you can tell me what it is but i just don't want to risk that again where i'm wasting my time having to come back so just come on down here hop down here now wait a minute wait a minute okay first of all lantern back on i want to go this way just to see what is over here exactly oh there's a scarab that's just an fp one though is this the right way Okay, that's an HP one. Where is this taking me? And there's an item. Oh, that's cool. I'll take that. 
All right, I'm gonna keep going this way. This might be the right way, actually. Wait a minute. Is this right? No, this is not. This just takes us out there. Okay, so we got these items on this path. Now we can go ahead and go the other way and drop down. Like I said, I believe it's the very first hole that you need to drop down. If I'm wrong, well then I'll have egg on my face. But again, I'm doing this off of memory. Come on now, guys. My PlayStation broke. You have to feel bad for me. I tried to do a little bit of practicing for this, but it kept cutting out. Like, I'm like, come on. All right, let's go ahead and head back the other way. And where is the hole? No, I can't find it. All right, is this it? This is it, right? Wait, you know, the messages should tell me. Yeah, yeah. Well, wait, maybe not. Oh, my God. Okay, it's not the first hole. I'm going to cut this ahead, guys. So, I'm going to see you in a moment. Well, I was right about one thing. That I was going to get lost in here. There was no doubt about that. Now... Oh, here's Mama Rat. Hello. Ow. So, I'm pretty sure I did get everything in this area. This little spot. Because I fell down that hole the first time going where Mama Rat was. So, the other hole, this is it. I'm sure the message. Yeah, here. Awesome. This is it, right? Oh, hello. That guy will try to grab you. I guess he can, but he missed. This is the other side. So, now we can actually open this up. And that's that. Not really need it, because at this point, I don't think we're going to mess this up. I believe this is just going to take us directly to where we need to go. And when we get there, we're going to get a grace. So that's nice. Let's go ahead and slide down. And I guess you could die in here. There's a bunch of jars. Let's take the jar out, though. I love killing them. It's so much fun. And there's more jars in here. Hello. Let's do our little weapon art. There we go. And this is an elevator. And this will take us to a grace. And then we can fight this boss. Remember, you can use the shackle if you want. If you've collected it. I don't think it's really needed. Because, again, I'm pretty sure this one really won't be that bad. The actual real version of this boss will definitely be a lot worse. Like that up. But I do need to rest at it. And, again... Not really worried about this guy. I'm much more worried about the jumping puzzle nightmare gravity that we're about to experience. And again, if you're new to the channel, you might be in store for some music because, oh boy, here we go. But grab that item. It's right in here. Again, let's get our black knife ready to go. Walk in. Chug this, some of the black knife, and watch out. This guy's got a bunch of blood attacks, so you might bleed. But that black knife, I love that attack. It's so good. Yeah, I'm about to bleed. Gotta get out of that. He's got, like, fire and blood. It's insane. Chug. Let's hit him. There's also another item for your mixed potion that you can actually get. Which is pretty cool. Back it up a little bit. Oh, there's the blood loss. He is so coming after me. Like, can you go after the black knife, please, for a second? Just, just turn, turn around? There we go. Oh, my God. Yeah, I guess he heals himself, too. He will, he will not look at the black knife. This is crazy. There you go. Finally can actually get some free hits off and you fell down and you did not so bad not the easiest thing in the world but not so bad you get that spell and that attack looks awesome I don't know if the spells any good I want to say it's not but you know what do I know but definitely 100% level up now because you're gonna die and you're probably gonna lose whatever runes you got because we're about to go through some nightmare stuff so open this up and grab this, and remember, I actually said I didn't want to equip it, but now I might, because it's going to give us a little bit more HP, 
and I like that. That's a very good talisman. Like being able to upgrade all your stuff. Hey, wait a minute. I could talk to the girl. Let's do that. What's up, baby girl? And I'm not gonna listen what you say. Maybe she's talking about the capital, or maybe she's talking about this place. I don't really know. I think she's actually talking about what to do in the story. It's kind of where we can talk to her. All right, so what you need to do is hit this right here. This is a secret. We can come back here, and now we can go ahead and come in here because you can't actually come in here. There's a guy right there. Before you actually beat the capital, you do have to beat the boss here, and the goal is to get to the very bottom. That's the thing about this. It's absolutely insane. You got to drop down all the way there. And I'm going to come down here first just to kind of look around real quick. I don't really think there's anything. Is that an item, though? I think it's just... A, no, it is an item. How do you get back there? Hello? Hit it? No, that's not an item. See, it looks like an item to me. I think it's just a freaking candle. Okay, but there is an item here. All right. Okay, so... Oh, my God. The messages here. Watch out for the messages. Like, you really can't rely on the messages. They're not good. Um, Where do you go from here? I want to say... I mean, technically, I guess we can always walk off here. But where that blood stain is to the right, I think you can go ahead and just jump directly down there. Oh, good! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Hello, another item here. Oh, that's, there's enemies too. Take them out. Hello? What does this say? Down ahead. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. I don't want really to trust that. I, I gotta get another look at this, okay? And let's get the item over here as well. Oh, nice. Awesome. Again, I kind of want to say where those blood stains are, but then again, you know what? No, 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 no. Probably not the blood stains, right? Because see, the blood stains are where people are dying. So why am I trying to jump to where everyone's dying? It's probably a bad idea, right? I want to say the people who said down ahead might be right. Oh god. Wait, wait. I'm gonna read the other one. Wait. What? No. Unless it teleports me to the bottom, I'm not doing that. All right. Let's just walk off here. And, by the way, if there's nowhere to go, and there's, like, nowhere to go. Ah, oh, crap. I was gonna say, it'd probably be best just to go ahead and just teleport out. Yeah, I'm super confident where that bloodstain is, is where we're supposed to go. I'm gonna teleport out of here, man. I'm not doing this. Yeah, uh-uh. Like, I'm not gonna try to make that jump over there. Yeah, we're teleporting. That's the one nice thing about this. If you get into a spot and you're not sure... You can always teleport out and then try another path because sometimes you got to take that leap of faith and unfortunately people be trolling with their messages and I just got trolled I guess. Take that guy out and this is where actually you'll probably die the most. I'm going to be honest it's just the basic stuff. You're just trying to line this part up so that you can actually hop down and then you will fall. Okay, whoo! Now, where's that blood stain at? It's all right there. Pretty sure that's where we need to go. So, we're gonna. Oh my god, I can't even see what the blood stains are insane. Hop down here. And. Oh god, I'm so scared, man. Oh, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. See, I'm pretty sure that's kind of the path, right? You hop there, then you go there, and then. Who knows? If I go down one more level, is that good? No. It ain't good. It ain't good. Okay, we need to hop. I don't want to sprint jump, so we're just going to normal jump and try to hug the wall. That's what I was doing there. I was just trying to, like, turn to the wall and hug it. Now, let me look. Yeah, yeah, we need to get over there. This might be more of a sprint jump moment because it's a corner, so we can run into the wall and jump. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Can we make it over there? I mean, we can, but... Can we just jump down there, maybe? 
See, you're going to get to a bottom floor, and that's where we were trying to get to. That's the whole goal here. I'm going to die trying to do this. Like, there's no bloodstains here, though, so that gives me hope, right? That definitely gives me hope. Okay. I'm thinking, should I run into the wall and try to make the jump? This is crazy. I'm literally sweating. It's hot, but, like, I'm sweating because of this. Oh, my God. We made it. I can't believe I'm doing this. All right. This is a basic jump. This is easy, right? Like, this is so easy. Jump, jump, jump. All right. Again, I turn into the wall. That way, I'm trying to control my jump a little bit. Okay, where the item is, I'm pretty sure is where we need to go. So, we need to jump across here. And then, to get down, I do know this. You're supposed to kind of walk off, or you can actually do a back step off. Oh, God, that's a run jump, man. Ooh, God, my, I'm going to die today. Okay. So, and I mean in real life, not in the game. I'm pretty sure this is where you want to walk off. It's like here, but you can actually do this. I've seen people do this like many times too. It's like you can back step here. I'm so scared. I'm, I'm just kind of moving forward. If you back step, you can actually like walk off and then your feet will st Okay, never mind. I'm an idiot. Gravity. Yeah, that was probably a really bad idea right there. I've seen people do that, like, so many times, and I thought, hey, I want to be a cool kid too. No, I should have just walked. Oh my god, I gotta get back to that spot now. That is just terrible. This is awful. Okay, line this up. Walk off. Okay, good, good, good so far. We're gonna hop down here. To be honest with you, one thing I want to say about this is that, and this is the truth with Elden Ring, it's probably why gravity isn't so bad in this game like in the other games. I really feel like my feet are sticky. For whatever that's worth, right? So what I mean is, is that when I'm doing these jumps, I, I kind of feel like I could do this and I'm not going to fall off. Like, if I touch the platform, I'm good. If I completely miss it, I'm screwed. But if I touch it, I'm good. At least that's how I feel right now. Oh, God, I'm scared, though. Oh, God, you see what I'm talking about? Like, I really feel that way. Now, what the hell did I do to get down there this time? Oh, God. Oh, God, what did I do? Did I go the other way? Am I... Am I trolling? Like, where am I? Did I go all the way around? No. What did I do? Am I going the wrong way? Like, see, now I'm confused, because I don't really see how I go back there. Do I hop? No? Maybe. Ugh. Maybe I got a YOLO... I don't know how I got down there. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try something new. We're gonna go down there, right? First of all, let's take a look at the... Yeah, see, he's trying to make that jump. Mm-mm, that ain't working. Let's see, another one. Which path are you gonna die at today? All right, he tried to do the whole walk off the side thing. Okay, that's the same guy. I wanna see this one. Yeah. Yeah, we're not YOLOing that. I, I kind of want to say, try to YOLO the one down there. Oh my god. What in the hell did I do to get down there, though? Like, that's the crazy part. I, I don't know the path I took. I feel like I went the other way. Alright. I'm gonna die again. We're so gonna die again. There's no doubt in my mind. Okay, I made it over here. That was an accident. I didn't mean to do that. Alright. I'm going back. I'm going back. Okay, we're back. Can I YOLO that? I think I'm going to try it. Because where I'm at right now, it's like I don't feel like there's a way of going. So I... <sighs> Cat ring maybe? Please save me? I'm putting that on. Because if I land on it, I don't want to just instantly die, right? Now the cat ring is pretty useless because... It can save you, but, like, it's very limited on how it's going to save you. 
All right, so I'm gonna run into the wall. And then we're gonna jump. Oh, I'm, I'm dead, yeah, like there's no way. Gravity. Alrighty, I went ahead and looked up a video and I did that mainly just to kind of see what is the way to go for the right path. I don't want to get down there a hundred times and I keep messing up and not going the correct path, which I guess I was because our option here is to either hop down again and walk off the side there, right? Maybe I went the other way or something. I don't know. Or, you, we can, I've seen this in the video, you can actually just jump from here. Like, this is perfectly safe for the most part, so just jump. And now we're good. And now we're going to have a heart attack trying to, um, get down. I think I know what I did. Yeah, I know what I did. I made that jump. You're not supposed to do that. Yeah, that's what I did. So we need to walk off. And now we can walk off again. Now we need to make this jump. Oh my god. Come on. Don't fail me now. Oh my god. Again, jump. Uh, hello. Yeah. So I don't know if I want to run into the wall or not. But this is definitely a sprint jump. Sprint jump. Okay, we made it. And I'm just looking. That's a pretty basic one, right? Ooh, okay. Almost didn't make it, though. And that's where we need to get to. Okay, we need to get down there and that's the thing where i literally was an idiot so jump okay now see that's the thing like i looked at this video and the guy you know he literally did like a back step or something i don't know what he did exactly but i'm gonna say walk off right i mean how are you supposed to do this there we go yeah walking off worked oh god you can't... What is this? Am I supposed to walk off like this? Which... Oh, wait. Maybe I'm supposed to jump. Okay, jumpy makes more sense. Let's just do that. Okay, okay, okay. One more. Ooh, we made it, baby. Let's go. Ooh. Well, there you go. So there was an item down there, and right over here, we got the God Shield. Uh, now, the big thing about this shield, and yeah, that is an item. How the hell do we get over there? I really don't know this. Like, hello? Well, whatever it is, I'm never picking it up because I'm never coming back here. Let me know if you know. Like, wait, there's a message. Oh, fire. Okay. Uh, how am I going to get... Are you alive? Oh my god, you are alive. How am I gonna get fire? A torch? I put all my weapons away. I don't got no torch, so... Fire arrow? I think I got them. I, I do, actually. Let's try that. And equip the bow. Let's aim it. Well... Yeah. No. Yeah, I don't know how to get this item. Wait, why are you saying lure out? What are you talking about, dude? Try in it. Oh. Yeah, I guess you gotta use the enemy to do this. I don't know. Whatever this is, I don't care. I'm never jumping back down here again on this playthrough. There's no way in hell. So, screw that. Well, actually, wait a minute. What's down here? Okay. Another enemy. Can I use this guy, maybe? Yeah. Wait, can you? Oh, you can get to the very bottom, too. Cool. Uh, hello, buddy. Yeah, come on. Come on. No, there's no way to use this enemy. What are these guys? Come on. Okay, I don't know. Screw it. Um, hop on down. Oh, hello. Oh, all right. I know what this is. You do not want to mess with this, okay? Mm -mm. So, one of my... You can't you can't even swing, so what is that trolling me? One of my friends told me about this. And, you know, I know this, and you do not want to go through this door. Basically, we are going to 
like mess with that shield and figure it out later this door if you want to go through it you have to take off all your clothes and then you can go like through it or something but once you do that you are like locked out of every other ending in the game you are screwed so if you're trying to go for any type of trophies anything like that don't do that if you want to do that later on or something you can like on another playthrough but i would not recommend it like just don't even bother with the door i don't really know what happens or i've never done it basically let's just be frank because i think it's stupid anyway i don't want to be locked out of all the endings i'd rather just choose my own oh my god i'm so glad i got that shield like that that is like it literally makes you sweat like the whole time like it, it, it it's an adrenaline rush like that's impressive that a game can do that to you because i'm just i don't know what it is i'm just so scared of gravity in these games it's just the worst Alrighty, guys well that's gonna do it for this episode I really hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future episodes of this series. And if you do, make sure to click the bell. That way you can stay notified. Thank you so much for watching. And peace out.